In this video, you guys, we're going to teach you how to diagnose and repair the faults on your car with this OBD11 diagnosing tool. So make sure you watch the entire video. I will learn you what this is and how it can help to repair your car. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dutch Mike and today I will be teaching you how to repair and diagnose your car with this OBD11 scan tool. It's for OBD2, it's for every Volkswagen and Vach group related cars. I will show you in just a minute, but before we start this video, I would like to thank you all for the massive support I had on the last video, which was not car related, but more of a, well, a challenge with the rotten fish. I, perhaps you've already seen it somewhere, somehow, maybe on my channel, which I appreciate. So uh, yeah, that is cool. Um, for this video, however, we're back to a car video because I'm getting a ton of questions on my Instagram and in the video uh, comments from Yo Mike, I got a problem with my car and 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 uh, yeah, I cannot solve that because I am not really a car mechanic. I just go along as I learn stuff myself. Other than that, I do not have your car right here, so I don't know what is wrong with uh, with it. So you can hear my windshield wipers are going to hell too. Um, well, let's begin. Um, the OBD11 scan tool. Now, what exactly is it? What can you do with it? For that, I have prepared a video from OBD11 itself. Um, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so now that we have learned what it is, um, let me show you how it's done. And with that, I'm gonna try to connect it with my telephone because it's Bluetooth and I'm gonna screen record it. So yeah, first of all, this plug, where does it go in? Pretty easy, when you open the car door, all the way on the left under, there is usually a part where you can plug it in and sometimes it's in the middle console where sometimes the ashtray is so you have to take a look it's uh, vertical specificated so specific so yeah you have to take a look at that so let's get into this all right guys as you can see i have the app just opened it says connect i have plugged it in the obd11 tool so we're ready to go now usually you plug it in and you put your car on um, ignition but you do not start it so it's the last setting um, however my car is running as you may have heard already and that is because my battery is not really good so what are we gonna do now we're gonna connect okay so now you see the OBD11 is getting blue you touch that still connecting now you can see I have two vehicles in the uh, already saved which is of course the Polo GT from my girlfriend and the Audi A4 from me and that is which we are having now so you click on that and it will connect to its device so now that he has found the car we can click on scan or we click on the right bottom here you can see all the control units uh, left upper left uh, the three bars you can click and you can see what you can do with the car um, but now we go just to scan the vehicles now as you can see it has 25 uh, units which has engine heating uh, steering wheel that sort of things uh, yeah you can see on the left down what he is scanning um, you can see the problems he has you can also hear the peeping you can see it on the dashboard that he is 
uh, scanning everything and he is checking everything so yeah now basically what this is all about is when you have scanned everything so all of the 25 units now this may take a minute or two um, you can reset all the problems when you have done that you scan again and then you can see which problems keep coming back and in that case you can click further and I will show you in just a minute and you can solve the problem which means you solved uh, a problem on the car and you solved the fault code but which fault code do you have well we're gonna show you that in a minute too for now let's just finish up scanning all right guys so it's ready five faulty control units now you can hold to clear the faults then he is gonna clear it and some of them will come back now for example we take a look at the engine because oh let's go back one time now on the right down bottom you see the blue highlighted three bars you click on that you go to engine you go to faults he's gonna check it now you can see all the faults he has now what we can do is we can put them in the trash can he is going to put them in the trash can and now we can relook there are currently no faults later which is awesome um, but for example if we have one here currently no faults yes now if you take the upper one for example uh, it's broken you don't know this is the fault code you guys the 01842 that is how you see it now how do you respond to this fault code um, i don't know right so what i do is you click on the g on the total right of the fault code and you go to google and then you can look it up which is pretty awesome if you ask me but let's see we're gonna click on the trash can see if it can clear it all out i don't think so but i <laughs> A guy can hope, right? All right, so we have um, temperature sensor driver seat. Yeah, that is maybe because um, the seat heater is not working. So we have to take a look at that. Um, but for now, we go way back. Uh, we have still the faults. We're going to clear them and see which ones come back. All right, guys, so we still have one problem over. Now we can take a look where and which one it is. At the control units, it's comfort systems. I'm guessing it has something to do with the uh, uh, seat heater. So we're going to go to faults. Supply voltage for door module. Passenger side. Yeah, as you guys may have heard in the vlog once before, um, and the passenger door has no um yeah how do you say uh, no power whatsoever so yeah this is well known and it's not to be uh, repaired today now doing this uh you can pretty much solve everything and find all the problems also when you click here on the car battery you can see the status so it's now charging i guess yes battery charging um yeah so that is pretty awesome you can see everything now if you want to see which car uh, it supports you go to supported vehicles you can see audi volkswagen seat skoda lamborghini and bentley um, let's go for volkswagen and you have all the models this is also um, found on the website from them for obd11 and well i'm gonna leave a link down in the description just so you can find them now we're going back to the regular camera right guys so what we have done now is diagnose the car we have seen where the problems are we even have matching fault codes and that means we can fix it now um, so with the right parts and the right tools you can fix pretty much every problem you get with your car 
I will leave a link down in the description so you guys can uh, see at the, at the website if this can work for your car as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about it. And uh, because I have, I have enjoyed this. Um, I wanted to show you guys what is possible with this thing because without it, without the OBD11, I would not be able to make this kind of videos because I am not a car mechanic and I don't know where to look for the problems. Also, Google is a big help. So shout out to Google because when you have a problem, you have a fault code on the right side, you see the little G, you click on it and it goes to Google and it will find the problem for you. If not, you can always look further. Um, it usually links to uh, blogs which um, usually has the problem solved on it in a cheap way of course um, but for now this was the video i hope you really enjoyed it um, leave a like if you really did don't forget to subscribe down below and let me know what you think of it also the link for the obd11 is down in the description the video i used uh, was also from the obd11 uh, youtube page i will link to them as well so you can see even more uh, cool stuff with this. So I hope to see you guys the next time. See you later guys.